Welcome back, everyone, to another weekly Taskmaster Challenge. This one, you're going to have to bear with me for a few minutes while I do my best to explain how the scoring is going to work. So let me go ahead and show you uh, from Discord what the rules look like for this one, and then we're going to have to think through our strategy. So uh, we are any nation, unlock all, 1927. Uh, the fleet can be up to six ships of any one type. So we can have one to six ships, as long as they're all the same type. Six battleships, three battle cruisers, however we want to do it. Uh, minimum of 10 kilometer distance to start, but it can be longer if we want. Uh, the enemy is Spain, six battle cruisers, 1923 technology. Here is the scoring system, and this is where it gets interesting. Uh, all costs are in millions of dollars, rounded to the nearest... Uh, 0.1 uh, million. How it's going to work, our score will be based on this uh, formula here. It's going to be, the score will be uh, the cost of the enemy ships that we sank minus the cost of our own ships divided by the cost of our ships to build. So if we lose nothing, then it basically becomes the total cost of the enemy ships that we sank divided by the total cost of our ships. So we want to try and build something cheap that can get the job done is basically how this works. Uh, so with that in mind, my thought process is that I want to try and build one super battleship that's going to be incredibly powerful and can take out six battle cruisers while simultaneously staying alive. That's what I think I'm going to do, but I'm going to take a look at the design and see what I can do with 1927 unlocked tech. If I can put together a pretty good battleship, and it looks like I may be able to do that, uh, then I'll go with the one ship, but it's going to be crazy expensive, I think. Um, can we go to the... So I've never really thought too much about cost before. Um, base cost is less for this 71,000 one. Uh, I feel like that might be the one I want to go with here. How much does it go to if I, yeah, it goes another 10 million that way. What about here? Same thing. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. It's hard to see everything down here because of all these holes that are unlocked. Uh, all right. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to go with one pretty powerful battleship and I want to get the ability to just take these battle cruisers out quickly these are all mark ones we go to 15 inch guns we've got mark threes what's the uh, accuracy at 10,000 is four here it's three percent um, but you know what? Those 18s, boy, I bet they could really do some damage. But these are these cost less. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the 15s. Triple barrels. Let's get a barbette on here. All right, we need a couple funnels. Honestly, I'm planning on building this thing as a tank that can just take a beating. Uh, here's the thing. The armor is going to get expensive. Yeah. Oh, boy. But still, one ship is kind of the, the thought process here. I'm expecting they won't have torpedoes. Um, let's go barbette. Oh, the barbettes don't cost that much, do they? That costs... We're gonna we're gonna forego that. Let's look at engine cost. Steam turbines are the cheapest. We've got a bit of an aft weight off uh, offset issue right now. I'm gonna actually slow down a little bit, drop some speed to save some cost. I think Turtleback's going to be cheaper. 
than all or nothing. Yeah, quite a bit cheaper. Uh, we'll go anti-flood one. Uh, maybe two. It's not that big of a difference. Okay. Now, I want something that's going to give me the best chance of getting quick kills. On these battle cruisers. Yeah, I think I'm going to go high TNT, but boy, look at the cost of those shells. Yeah, that gives $3 million, but honestly, what's $3 million? Oh, boy. Yeah, the auto-reloading, that's a huge difference in cost. We're going to go standard reload. I think I'll go right there. What's the difference? Not much, really. We can only get Gen 1 radar. Ooh, that's $8 million. No, I don't think I need radar that bad. Dang, okay. And I don't know, with battle cruisers, we might have an issue with trying to hit them with torpedoes, but honestly, it's probably worth it. How much are they going to cost? They're $405,000 each. I want to at least get a few of them on there. It doesn't help with my after off or weight offset issue at all. Um, maybe we can move the whole thing forward. That'll help a little bit. There we go. Now we're pretty balanced. All right, now the rest is about armor and a whole lot of it because we're going to be in close. I need this thing to stay alive. I'm going to drop the deck armor some. I feel like we'll be okay there. Okay, um, 15 inch shells, I think we'll stay standard. And so we're at $118 million. I could add more armor if I felt like I needed to. Alright, we'll go right there. Actually, There, let's go right there. 118.4 is going to be our cost. The question is, is this thing going to be able to kill six battle cruisers without dying? Well, we're going to find out. Okay, once we are able to identify these ships, we should be able to find out the cost, uh, the value of those ships. Ooh, that's loud. I got to turn my, there, turn down my sound a little bit. And we'll figure out assuming we're able to sink everything, what our score would be. We're identifying pretty quick. Got a pretty good lock already on target. We're going to try to head right toward these guys. If I can knock one or two of them out real quick, that would be ideal. A lot of shells coming our way. Not firing yet, and I'm not entirely sure why that is. Woo. 
Come on, we gotta we gotta sink somebody quick. The closer we stay, the better, because that'll allow my 20-inch belt armor to do the protection. Sixty percent toward identification. Why will we not fire? All right, you know what? Let's switch targets. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. And we got torpedoes in the water, too. Do it again. Oh, it looks like we switched targets. Oh, maybe not. All right, we're getting close to identification. Oh no, let's stay on that target. Ah, I shouldn't have switched. Because look at how much flooding he's already taken. Another hit might have done the trick. Alright, we've got identification. So let's pause for just a second here. These are only 38,000 ton ships. So it looks like the Santa Rufina is going to be a $42.4 million ship. Can we assume the others are the same? I guess we gotta wait and make sure the others are the same. That everybody's got the same value. I don't know if that's how it works or not. Yeah, it looks like that is the case. So 42.4 million. All right, so let's do a little math now. 42.4 million times six is 254, so uh, in theory, we're higher than one, at least, if we get everything. Now, I'm trying to remember what the cost of my ship was. Let me go back and look. Okay, so 118.4 118 million, uh, 118 million is mine. So, assuming I sink everything, I think that should be 2.15 uh, for, for me. Uh, so, it's enemy ship sunk, which was the number we had minus the cost of own ships sunk, which hopefully should be zero, um, divided by the cost of our own ships to build. So yeah, that would give us a 2.15. That's pretty good, I would guess. But that requires us to stay alive and sink all these ships. Which is far from a sure thing, especially after my experience from last week. Where I thought I was doing really good and suddenly got blown up. But I feel like we've got a good start here. Don't think we're going to have any luck with the torpedoes. Come on, baby. Yes. Oh, we're not causing any extra flooding, though. No, we're about to have a couple of torpedoes ready again. We don't have many torpedoes, though. We need to get some flooding on some other parts of that ship. How about we go torps on a different one? There we go. That's more flooding. That's another compartment. If I can knock one of these guys out, that at least removes 
one sixth of his firepower. I need one of those forward compartments to flood, and then we'll have them. Only th boy, the reloading sucks. I wish I had spent the extra money to get the faster reloading. Just taking a long time in between. That's still not going to be enough, I don't think. I think we need one of those forward compartments to flood. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I think we need one more compartment. Maybe not. One percent. Come on. Oh, their their pumps are working. They got really close. They got down to one percent. But I think their pumps are getting on top of it now. Come on. Oh, so close. Ooh. Dang, we just can't seem to get another compartment flooded to finish them off. It's alright, this one's not about time. This is just about winning. But man, it takes forever to reload. Oh yeah, come on. Dang. Still didn't do any more flooding. We're going to run out of torpedoes pretty quick here. We had them down to 1%. Couldn't finish them off. Come on. Now we're just pummeling him structurally. Now we got to start removing some of their firepower. They're just going to beat up on me for a while here. Darn, I cannot get those forward compartments to flood. There's a torpedo hit. Maybe that'll get us what we need. Yeah, I got him. There goes another compartment. All right, let's switch targets. There's one. We got a torpedo hit all the way on the Santa Barbara out there. <laughs> oh, nice. Got to be careful here because I got one guy out here. While all the rest of them are in front of me. So he's going to have a nice broadside target. There we go. Good start. Oh, yeah, see, that's what I was worried about. With the Fernandillo. Off to the side like that. Part of me thinks maybe what I should do is, yeah, you know what, I'm going to switch to to that target. I'll keep heading toward these guys, but I want to knock this guy out. Because he is just going to pummel me otherwise. I don't like leaving my broadside open to him like that. It's going to take a little while to get these guns turned around, though. But we got a bunch of torpedoes in the water on him. I'm going to turn off my torpedoes for now and save those last few for a rainy day, so to speak. There we go. Down to 87%, gotta be careful here. Just gotta knock this one out. Ooh. They must have minimal bulkheads. Yeah, they do, because they're flooding really easily. 
We just need to get the penetration in the right compartments. Beautiful. Not sure that's enough yet, but it's pretty darn close. Ouch, down to 82%. Nice. All right, that should be enough. I think we got him. Assuming his pumps don't get on top of that, I think that's going to be enough. That's all but one compartment flooded. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch targets. Because I think he's done. Bye-bye. All right, two down, four to go. Gonna be nice and close on this one. Waiting to get the guns turned around. I'm gonna turn toward these three. So I can get all my guns facing the body in. Oh, ammo detonation! Yes! Not a lot of flooding though. Well, maybe. We got five compartments. One more might be enough to finish this one. That might happen fast. They're gonna turn toward me now. Come on, baby. Ah! They turned at just the right time. What's going on with this rear gun? The heck is this thing? And why is it in the way? Beautiful. Bye bye. That's three. We're halfway there. And Santa Barbara is already damaged. All right, torpedoes back on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this way. Oh, yeah. So what do we say was the cost? Are there 42.4 million? We need to start thinking about this now. Yeah, we said 2.15 is my score, assuming I get all five of them, or all six of them sunk. If we're rounding to the nearest tenth, it'd be 2.1, because it was actually like 2.1486. I love a good sinking. All the oil. That's cool. Alright, one more good shot. 
Get a couple of forward compartments flooded, and Santa Rufino would be done. And we got one forward compartment flooded. Now the only thing we gotta worry about is the random ammo detonation that automatically sinks me like what happened last week. There we go. They're done. And then there was one. Alright, we're gonna turn and get a full broadside going. Good start. Come on, Saxon. I don't know why that rear one, what that is, that's in the way. I've never had that happen before. Is that a spotlight? Looks like it's a spotlight. Or like for communication between ships kind of thing. Let's slow down so we can get better accuracy, try and finish this guy off. Now we'll get that rear one firing. Lovely. We'll go ahead and speed it up here. I would think if I were the captain of this battleship, or this battle cruiser, after having seen this battleship take out five of my friends, that I would be hightailing it out of here. Especially if he's got the speed to do that, which he does. He could definitely outrun me. Well, he could have before he got damaged. I think we might have him. Let's see if those pumps can be on top of that, because I don't know that he can. Oh, yeah, I guess he's going to. It helps that they only had 12-inch guns. And I have 20 inches of belt armor. Yeah, we got him. That's every compartment. Well, that was fun. I feel like I've got a decent chance in this one this week, but we'll see. Please hit that like button. Make sure you check out everybody else's videos. The links are in the description. We'll see you next week.